guys, it's Penny here from Cow's Sparkles. Um, I'm going to try a little project. Thought I'd film it. So it's either going to go really well or really crap. Um, I've got this big question of what do you do with your spare round drills? With the squares, obviously I'm saving them for my heaven and earth. But with the round drills, now, a couple of months ago, I got a little set of drawers. Just three little, it's just three little ones. It sits on my, um, on my desk, holds in release papers and my bags and all sorts of things. Move you up a bit and hopefully you can still see, excuse this, this is my sneaky cat that I'm working on. So yeah, it's just three little drawers, they're not very big, but it's just handy. And yes, much to my daughter's embarrassment, I found this on the side of the road, gave it a clean up, painted it white and painted grey on the front, the drawer fronts and the frame that it comes in. So what I thought I would do is I'm going to jazz up the front of these drawers. That's the idea. Now, I'm going to get three little trays out, the old trays. Now, I've painted it grey because the table I work on in the is in the kitchen and my kitchen's black, grey and white, so... What I thought I'd do is I've got these spare drills and I'm going to do patterns on them. Now, my daughter did print off a pattern for a zigzag. So we're going to go for it. We are going to see how it's going to work. Now, what I'm going to use it's double-sided tape. I'm going to turn it this way because what I'll do is I'll use double-sided tape and then what I'll do is I will then seal it afterwards. Now, obviously, I'm not prepared at all and I haven't got any scissors because scissors in this house See if I can, I can rip it, but I just didn't want it. There we go, that'll do. <laughs> but I thought, yeah, we'll do double-sided. Now this, double-sided, was three rolls for a pound in the pound shop. Um, I'm just looking for my scissors. There they are, bear with me. Um, and it just, it's just a case of it means um, it's costing me nothing. So, we thought, and if it looks crap, I just peel it off. Simple as that. So, let's get going on this and see how it's going to work out. Like I said, if it looks crap, it looks crap. It hasn't cost me nothing, so we will see. So if I put that there for the moment, I shouldn't have lifted that off yet. And then what I'm going to do is I've got three of the little white trays that you get in um, with the free kits. I'm going to put some black in there, some grey. And then I didn't want white. So I've got three eight six fives here. So let's put some of those in there. And then we'll just give them a little bit of a shake so they're ready. It's easy to pick them up. Because I've got no grid, so it's going to be eyes. Using the eyes. So I'm actually using... A blue pen simply because 
I don't want to use my nice one in case it gets residue on it from the um whatever it's called the glue so we're going to start with the black and let's hopefully move it down a bit and you might be able to actually see what i'm doing hopefully we can get a reasonable looking i think it'll just look snazzy And like I, like I said, I am just using, I hope you can see guys, I am just using my spare drills. So we'll do It's not going very well, is it? It's because I'm being awkward. Let me see if it's easier this way. Right, so I've done three black and we'll do three grey. Is this pen, the, the end of this pen is all bent up. So have I got another cheapo pen? Yes, I have. Let's, that one's better. Let's see if this makes a difference, shall we? Right, so free black. I'm not going to do the whole thing on camera because who wants to see me doing this? And then we'll go for the cream or the off-white. Now, I'm not pressing too hard because... I don't, if, if it looks absolute crap... Then I'll take it off. One, two, three. But yeah, it was just because I was sitting here yesterday. Um, thinking, what videos can I do this week? I'll bring this forward a bit so you can actually see. It's not very good because it's... Because it, it's grey background. You can't really see it too tough. Um... But what videos can I do this week? And I was thinking about, I was sitting here actually to look thinking and I thought, you know what? I might see if I can jazz it up. Because it's, hopefully it'll look really nice. And sparkly. Oh, didn't even get one. And obviously it goes, because it holds a lot of my um, diamond painting accessories, so to speak. I think that'll be enough. Right, so before grey, before black is cream. So what I'll do is I'll put one white there. And then we want three black. I'm hoping you guys can see this because I'm trying to angle it so that I can see what I'm doing. But yeah, it literally was me. Like these colours, um, 310, 413, 3865 are quite common colours, so I do have quite a lot. And then what I thought I'd do is, because there's three drawers, I thought that I would do a different pattern on each one. So, that is the, um, the gist of it, the idea. But like I said, I don't know what else. Like, my daughter uses a lot of the um, round drills. She likes to bejazzle everything. But I thought, what could I do? What could I do that's going to be... I don't need to really buy anything. But... 
it'll look quite nice and then I will seal it afterwards simply because obviously because it's a drawer and it's a used I an item that I'm gonna be touching I'll um I'll seal it to make just to try and prevent any for any of the drills dropping off. But yeah, that's the plan. I'm hoping you can see that. Hopefully, it looks really nice. Hopefully. And then we can just bejazzle everything in the house. <laughs> I'm not going that far. I'm not going to go crazy. But it's quite easy to do. It'll most probably be easier off camera to do. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do it so that I can see what I'm doing. And you guys can see what I'm doing. Otherwise, what is the point in doing a video? But yeah, like I said, I found this. We was walking around to the corner shop. This is a few good months, months, good few months ago. And... It was sitting in somebody's driveway with a note saying free. And I just thought it was a cute little drawer set. I am one for, like, don't get me wrong, I don't, I don't, I've yet to go skip diving. But I do like a freebie. I'm not going to lie. If I see something and I think, oh, I can use that. And it's obviously, obviously not if it's, if it was in somebody's garden without a sign or on somebody's drive and there wasn't a sign on it, I would have knocked on the door. I wouldn't have just taken it. But it did say free, big sign on it. It was actually this and a huge canvas. See, that looks quite pretty, doesn't it? I don't quite know how far up I'm going to go before because I want it zigzags. But we'll we'll see how we go. But I thought even if I just do this first strip of double sided, so you can see, and then. We can do another pattern on another drawer for a different video. It was just because I'm trying to get some good content up. Like, if this is not the kind of thing that you like to see, that's fine. Um, if it is, let me know. Let me know down in the comments if you kind of bejazzle stuff. I don't even know if that's a word, but I think it is. And I think it's a good word. I like it. But yeah, like I said, it was just an idea that I was thinking of. I was going to do it off camera and then show you guys. But I thought, hey, why not? Why not just do it on camera? You can watch me. If... People don't like this kind of content. That's fine. Just pushing that down a bit. Um, so I won't do it again. <laughs> but I've got... Um, I've got loads of work to do this week. Because the grandchildren have gone home now. Today is Monday. I am recording this on the, mon on the Monday. The grandchildren have gone home. My house seems really quiet after having two young kids running around the place causing havoc. I'm wondering if I should squeeze one up there. Let me have a look. Yeah. Because I didn't think there was enough space, but there is. So we will put another row up. There we go. 
But what do you reckon, guys? Do you reckon it's going to look kind of snazzy? Nothing complicated. It's no fancy pattern or anything. It was just a case of... I've got so many of these jewels left. Like spare. And I don't have a clue what to do with the round ones. My daughter does use them. She tends to bejazzle stuff up. She's doing me a phone case. Or she started doing me a phone case. Let's see how far she gets. Hopefully, it'll get finished. Now, because I'm doing this with double-sided tape, like I said, I will seal it. Um, if you use a glue, um, I think it's B700, I think, or 7000 it's called, which my daughter's got that at the minute because she's using it. Um, I wouldn't seal it because the glue's amazing. But, because I am using double-sided, now, bearing in mind double this double-sided, it is only a cheap one from the pound shop, but I have to say, it sticks like a trooper. So, the plan is, is to use some of these rounds, because obviously I don't have enough to do already. And I don't actually think it's going to take up much of um, the double-sided tape. Um, I don't see why it would, because it's just little strips. But I think it's going to look quite pretty. And I've finished it. And it just gives a little bit more sparkle. What do you think, Emily? It's nice. Looks okay, doesn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. We will see. We will see what it looks like. Hopefully, you guys ain't sitting there thinking, oh my gosh, how boring is this? <laughs> Um, like I said, I'm not going to do too much on camera now because I do think it's going to be a little bit boring just watching me stick three of each colour on at a time. Now, I don't multi-place, but I know a few of you do. So you could, in effect, if you was doing something like this design, you could, in effect, get it done a lot quicker by multi-placing. I've chosen to do three diamonds, three drills in each line. You could do however many you like. This is me just freehanding it all. But yeah, I think it's going to look quite nice. If I, if I do zigzags on one, I might do um, a checkerboard effect on one of the other drawers. And then maybe stripes on the last draw. Like the world is your oyster. It literally is. It's going to be such a long and boring job, to be fair. It's just a way of, of jazzing it up a bit. Like I said, the drills are just sitting there because I have yet to find a use for my spare rounds. We've got one more row to do and then this strip of tape is done. But yeah, I think it's going to look... In fact, we haven't because that tape is not going to hold them. It's not enough. But yeah, so that's the first strip done. So I think it's going to look pretty cool. So I'm 
going to do some more off camera and then I will come back to you because I'm going to try and make it a bit easier to hold and then show you how much I've done. So I will be gone for a bit, but for you guys, it will just be like that. So I will see you in a minute. All right, guys, I'm back. It's a little bit off camera because it got a bit tedious and it was so much easier for me to do it <laughs> um, without having to be in front of the camera because of the... I'm leaning up. I'm only little. But yeah, I've done some of it up so far. Um, I'm hoping you can see the detail in there. But it's looking pretty cute. I'm liking. I'm liking. So... What I'll do is I'll carry on all the way through. And where you've got this curve in the drawer, I will just cut the sticky tape to um to fit there. But yeah, a little a little project. To be honest, it won't take too long to do. She says. But yeah, I just think it looks really cute. I think it looks um it'll look amazing when I've got all three of them together. And I will show you, once they're all together, I'll get a picture of all of them together. But, yeah. What do you think, guys? Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it looks crap? I quite like it. It's quite easy to do. It's sort of mindless. You don't have to think too much. It's literally one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. So, yeah. Just a little sort of trying to play to try and see use up some of these round drills. And because they're round and this has been painted like this charcoal grey kind of colour, it doesn't matter that there's little gaps in between. Uh, if you look up close, I'm hoping that will focus. Look at the sparkle. Um, although you can see... Obviously, you can see little pieces of the of the draw front. It's um because it's grey. It's not in your face. But yeah, I really like it. I like it. I think it looks quite cute. It will look amazing once the whole drawer's done, and then we can go on to the second one. So what I will do is I will update you guys once the draw front's finished. And then um, decide on what the next pattern on the next one's going to be. So if you have any ideas of what to do with round drills, comments down here. Please let me know because I do have tons and tons of round drills. Um, and it is just trying to find out what can be done with them because I don't want to waste them. Um, so, yeah. And that's me for today. But I will see you all soon. And if you do like this video, please give me a little thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And if you click on the little bell icon, you'll hear ding every time I upload a video. So for, for now, I'm actually going to go and do some work and stop playing. So I will speak to you all soon. Bye.